When I was a kid, my father backed into the bumper of our neighbor's GTO while he was on vacation. It was three weeks old. My father called a tow truck, had it taken in, and paid for the repairs. By the time our neighbor got home, it looked as good as new. You'd have never noticed except my father left a fifth of bourbon and a note explaining the incident on the driver's seat. Later that night, our neighbor came by and asked for my father. They shared a few drinks in the parlor while I sat under the dining room table and listened to them talk. At the end of the conversation, he got up and said to my father, Thanks again. That was damn decent of you. My father told him it was nothing and walked him to the door. Decent. You don't hear that word much anymore. I used to do these elementary school tours where I'd tell kids your age what we do for a living. Aside from the normal questions like asking how often we shoot people, there was always one kid who would ask what the hardest part of the job was. I've done a lot of thinking about that kid lately. In case you wonder that yourself, I'm going to try and answer as best I can right now. It's this. What if you couldn't get justice? What if you got within two degrees of it, but you didn't get the thing itself? Is that close enough? What if you beat its head so badly trying to close those last two connections you snuffed it out and lost your only chance for the real thing? Would you substitute it? Cover it up and hope it's stuck for the victim's sake? Would that be enough? I've been thinking of these questions. Of my father. Of that little boy. Of you. I keep asking myself, what was the decent thing to do? Maybe sometimes when you've lost the faith, the best thing you can do is help others who still have it keep it alive. Maybe it means catching the wrong one and keeping your mouth closed. Maybe, years from now, when you get this, you'll understand. Maybe you'll have come up with a better answer for these questions than I have. Maybe you'll never have to answer them at all. I'd like that the most. 